The biology and behavior of the Bothrops barnetti are virtually unknown to science. This lovely species can measure up to a meter and a half in length and is capable of moving with extreme speed. This makes it a fearsome adversary. It is known to be active in the early morning hours and during the night, which is when it goes out to hunt. It is at this time that it may be surprised by the local residents. Encounters with this snake generally end up with the same result, a bite on a lower extremity with a fatal conclusion. They know that finding a Bothrops barnetti in the middle of the day will be difficult, but trying to find one in this area during the night would be much like walking through a minefield. They will have to search very thoroughly amidst the undergrowth, trying to find the perfect camouflage for these elusive snakes. In addition, they will have to be careful of another species which is also found in this area, the venomous coral snake. This small elapid measures barely 50 centimeters, but it has an incredibly potent neurotoxic venom which affects the nervous system. Death results from respiratory paralysis. Its bright coloring does not make for very good camouflage. Rather the contrary, it's a clear warning sign. This young specimen follows the trail of its prey. The gecko is paralyzed by the venom in just a few seconds. Like all snakes, it will gobble up its prey whole thanks to an ability to dislocate its lower jaw. With the help of muscle movements, the snake moves the prey through its body until it reaches the stomach. It will take between four and five days to digest the meal, and the snake will not need to eat again for the next 10 or 12 days. It will now try to find a safe place with a suitable temperature where it will remain coiled until the food is digested. Parece que Raúl ha visto algo. Vamos a ver si es una barnet y ojalá. Creo que es una barnet. No me dejas, no me dejas para por detrás, por detrás, mira. Una barnet. This is a great moment. At last, Juan and Raúl have before them the snake they have been dreaming about for the past few months. Hidden in the undergrowth is a lovely specimen of the Bothrops barnetti. It lies completely still, confident in its perfect camouflage. In order to capture a snake under these conditions, their mutual understanding cannot fail them. The consequences could be fatal. Trusting that the snake will remain immobile, they decide to begin carefully removing the undergrowth which hinders their access to the animal, keeping a safe distance at all times. At first sight, the maneuver which Juan is going to execute may appear simple. However, only people with a great deal of experience in handling venomous snakes are capable of carrying it out with such efficiency and sangfroid.
Like the other viperids, the Bothrop Sparnetti has the ability to move its poison-carrying fangs independently. When holding the snake, finger position must be precise. Too far forward, and there's a risk of being reached by a fang in the retracted position. On the other hand, if even a little too far back, the snake could twist its head and get in a real bite. While Raúl attempts to determine the sex of the snake, a slight error on Juan's part almost becomes a very serious mishap. Fortunately, this incident has no negative consequences, but it clearly shows us that risk and danger always form part of the equipment which accompanies these two intrepid expeditionists. Once more, Raúl and Juan have achieved their goal. The photographs and field notes from the entire expedition will serve to create an up-to-date database which will undoubtedly contribute to a better understanding and protection of these fascinating and dangerous animals.